And welcome back to Craig WK Longplay. We just received the wonderful bounty, which is uh, uh, the name. Uh, uh, scroll, scroll of uh, scroll of. A scroll of Discipline. Lawful scroll that raises the alignment of its uh, of the reader. There we go. So, we want to go ahead and uh, make a whole bunch of them. Because uh, this is going to be a cheating episode. That's what uh, this is going to be. Uh, so, what we need is our old buddy Saradin. Uh, which we got to boot him out of our unit there. Let's see. Uh... You commands, remove character. Uh, get Saradin out of there. There we go. Uh, so let's see. Form a unit. Their old buddy Saradin. And then we're going to go ahead and add Mr. Soldier there. Led by Saradin. Yep. Okay, so. Uh, so we want them to carry. Make sure we do this right here. So let's see. Let's carry the scroll of discipline there. Boom. And we want to remove Mr. Soldier there. Get rid of him. And then we want to switch out the item we have there with uh, uh, something that we don't have equipped to anybody. So how about a uh, power fruit? And then at that point, I'm going to go ahead and go to item commands. And I do believe we want to go ahead and sell, if I'm remembering everything right, one more than the second number there. So the one, so we sell two. Boom. And then we back out, exit. And then we go ahead and jump back in. And we now should have a whole bunch of scrolls of discipline. Boom. So Magnus is completely insane. So let's just go ahead and give him uh, scrolls of discipline until he's not so insane. Alignment up. Oh, doesn't take too many to to tip the scales there. That's not so bad. I thought it would be uh, a lot more annoying. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get Magnus to you know not be uh, so you know much of a maniac. He's kind of a, a monster right now, and uh, you know what, yeah, he started this adventure being pretty lawful until I started cheating and his alignment dropped like a rock, so we'll go ahead and uh, get our old buddy Magnus uh, brought back to the uh, the light, along with, you know, his uh, uh, goon squad, essentially. Uh, <laughs> no offense to uh, Deborah, Eve, and uh, Raiden, the Quizzicotal, you know. Dragon God. Uh, Dragon God? God of Lightning? Quizzicodal. Dinosaur? Mm, Final Fantasy VIII summon? Uh, I don't remember which one it is supposed to be. But anyway, uh, Quizzicodal there, the, uh, the, the... Or Quizzicodal there. Right in the Quizzicodal. Uh, if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. Uh, what was I talking about again? Something something dragons? Alright, so we're in the mid-50s, and we're still just obliterating every enemy we touch, and I think you can technically get to, like, level 99? So it's crazy to me that, uh, you know, that they, like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like, like, maybe they should have capped the game at level 50 if I'm just, like, just mopping the floor with everything I run into. Oh, wow. So at this point, 
what I'm hmm, what I'm kind of thinking we'll do is we'll make Magnus's unit just super lawful. I mean, their their alignment's gonna drop a little bit as they fight battles anyway, so it's you know not the end of the world. Uh, I'm wondering, is there like one more level, or is this all just wasted? I mean, I don't mind making doubly sure. But I also don't want to just sit here wasting time. Uh, one more. Alright, good enough. Whatever, that's fine. We'll end up having to cheat again, but, uh... Man, Raiden's uh, character portrait's real scary looking. Like, real, real scary looking. On the back row, he's got a Radiant Gale. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, what's this? A Venerable Dragon of Wind. Its Radiant Gale strikes anyone in its path. This character's name. Fair enough. How many of these uh, scrolls of discipline do I have? Twelve more. Okay. We'll go ahead and uh, get Raiden to not be so crazy. Do the same for my friends. And then I think what we'll do is we'll make a, uh, a, a unit, maybe even like a... Uh, uh, Mm, it'd probably make more sense to use it with, like, Dio's. Another unit that would have been crazy otherwise, bump them up uh, to, like, the middle range, and then that way we'll have someone who's super lawful, we'll have someone who's, you know, you know uh, so maybe the 80 to 100 mark to be taken care of, and then we'll have someone who, you know, can pick things up from, like, the 60 to 70 range, maybe, and then... Uh, and then after that, you know, uh, I feel like everything else is, you know, you know, we'll take care of it one way or the other. Although maybe we should make a fully neutral unit. Huh. Alright, so let's see here. Saradin. Uh, yeah, nope, nope. There we go. Carry items. Uh, oh no, that's right. We have to... Can't go through there. We have to go through here to remove the item. Move that power fruit. Yep. Boom. Then we go to this. Add character. Give Saradin a little soldier friend. Hey, Mr. Soldier Friend, I need you to hang on to something for me. It's super important. Carry. Uh, where is it again? Oh, that's right at the bottom. Scroll of Discipline. That slot there. Get out of my sight, soldier. Remove character. Uh, get rid of that thrusting soldier, which mm, that sounds dirty. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and switch out the scroll of discipline for power fruit. And then we go ahead and sell. Uh, there we go. those. Exit. Go back in. Use item. Uh, let's see. Hey, look at that. 99 of them. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, maybe we'll make a, a real lawful unit, a kind of lawful unit, and then, like, another, like, mid, mid range unit, and then, uh, and we can always, you know, play around with adding in, uh, uh, you know, these scrolls of discipline later or whatever. I don't think the your ending alignment matters. I mean, like, the, the chaos frame or whatever they call it matters. You know, the overall decisions you've made and, like, how many cities you've liberated, I've, you know, been told is mostly the, the, the big to-do about it. But, uh, as far as that goes, uh... You know, I, I feel like we made pretty good decisions early in the game. I feel like we were pretty legit most of the way through, and then after I cheated is when everyone's alignment just tanked. Uh, and then at that point, I wasn't able to liberate as many, you know, cities. At least not the cities that were uh, uh, high alignment or whatever. 
So no matter, we'll go ahead and make a lawful unit here. And then we'll keep going through, finish out the rest of this game, and hopefully get a good ending. Because at this point, this is what I'm you know, pretty much trying to do here, is uh, just uh, scrape by a uh, decent ending. Uh, good enough, I guess? Yeah, good enough, alright. Thank you, dragon. Look at that, Eve and Deborah are totally crazy. Is that wonderful? Although at this point in the game, I almost wonder, which, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I almost want to make like a super team, like Magnus, Dio, uh, Leia, uh, just take all of the like super powered, not even necessarily super powered, just like, like just cool leader characters, make them all into one unit and just send them off into like the final battles. But at the same time, I'm sure there's going to be some final battle where it takes like a million different soldiers and stuff. And then the finale is going to be Magnus hopefully protecting you, Will, and not fighting him? Uh, we'll see about that, I guess. Little, little uh, iffy about that. I'm uh, a little scared, not going to lie. But we'll deal with that when it comes, I guess. <sighs> now I... Uh, we're gonna make our crazy friend Deborah not so crazy. And then, uh, yeah. Glad you guys are uh, with me as I do this, though, because uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little boring. If I was a smart long player, and I'm not, I would, uh, you know, do this all off screen. But, uh, you know, I uh, wanted to talk at you. So, th here I am, talking at you. It's just you and me, viewer. Just hanging out with Deborah here, forcing her to read the same scroll over and over again. Deborah, did you get it? Well, you're gonna have to read it again until you're less crazy. It's almost like an old timey way of curing insanity, or like some kind of like uh, social issue or something. Like, oh, Deborah, you're you're you know you've got anxiety issues. Read this scroll of discipline, and then take all this, you know. I don't even know, like cocaine? What what drug did they give uh, people with like, uh, uh, you know, quote unquote insanity back in the day? Heroin? Yeah, heroin. I I guess I just don't know enough about uh, you know, old timey medical treatments for uh, things like depression and anxiety and stuff. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Hey, look at that. Deborah's not so crazy. Oh, Eve. You shouldn't have been crazy. De Deborah being a little crazy, I get. I had to drop her alignment to get her to change classes. But, uh, Eve, you, uh, you originally had pretty high alignment. So that's just sad. So sad that you became crazy because it forced you to murder people against your will. But, uh, you know, uh, that's okay. These scrolls of discipline are gonna cure you. Cure you up real good. Yep, any day now. Cure you up real good. The worst part is going to be after I finish this unit, and then I have to go ahead and get Dio to, you know, be, uh, you know, less crazy as well. Oh well. So how many do I have? Twenty-seven left. Okay. It seems like it switches back and forth, where I. Uh, Either I'll get 99 of uh, an item I duplicate, or it'll be 55. Not entirely sure why that is, but whatever. I won't worry too much about it at this point. It's a little late to be worrying about it at this stage of the game. Also, I'm a big cheater, so, yeah, what are you gonna do? If I really wanted to cheat, I could make, like, a Super Magnus and just, like, take all those stat-boosting items and turn them into just an unstoppable killing machine. And then just waltz my, you know, rest of my way through the game. But, uh, honestly, I'm kind of waltzing my way through the rest of the game anyway. So, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, only 15 of these left. We'll have to be careful I don't use the last one. 
because that would be super depressing because I would not mind having a few extra of these when we're done cheating here to, uh, you know, make sure that I've got us covered, you know, just to be safe. It'd be real annoying if the uh, finale came on and it was like, oh, you need, like, one more person to be really high alignment, but you don't got it, so it sucks to be you. But I might be overthinking it. I, you know, that could very well be the case. I, uh... I just really don't know enough about this game. I, uh, have enjoyed the story so far, of course. You know, going through and, uh... Killing Raid, that was awesome. Uh, but uh, aside from uh, even taking down Raid, uh, you know, the, the stuff with uh, Magnus and Umil, you know, has been you know, pretty good so far. I've enjoyed it. Okay, one more. I don't suppose she... Yeah, tempted to lawful! Perfect! Alright, so... We're gonna go ahead and... Uh, oh, no, I was right. Item commands, remove item, remove that power fruit. Give me that, Saradin. No power fruit for you, old man. Uh, let's see. Unit commands, add character. Here, soldier. Don't let Saradin have any power fruit. Uh, let's see. Carry item. No power fruit for you, old man. Only scrolls of discipline. Uh, let's see here. Remove character. Bye-bye, soldier. Carry item. All right, Sarah, then I changed my mind. Have a power fruit. Uh, item command. Sell item. Uh, let's see here. Scroll discipline, sell yep, two of those. Boom. Exit. Right back in. Use item. Uh, oh, hey, 99. Which is what we got last time, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. That's probably the case. I probably don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, make Dio a slightly lawful group. Just lawful enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Though I should probably compensate a bit just for the fact that, you know, their alignment's gonna drop in their battles coming up here. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Not too worried either way. Hey, Dio's not so crazy anymore. Good for him! Okay. Plug these into Dio. Kind of weird that the, like, Magnus changes classes, uh, sort of anyway, like, you know, he, he is right now a general, that's his class. Uh, it's a little strange only for the fact that, like, none of the other leaders, like, I, you can change their classes. But, uh, you know, I, I don't think the, uh, you know, they, 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 you know, get any, like, advanced classes themselves or anything like that, which is sort of weird. Because, I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to see Dio as, like, uh, uh, since he's kind of uh, Magnus' right-hand man, or maybe I just imagine that. I mean, he was sort of your first ally, uh, your first real buddy. Uh, except for maybe the old man. Anyway, I... Uh, uh, Oh, old man Hugo, that's his name. Uh, but, I, uh, you know, it'd be kind of cool to see him become, like, I don't know, uh, what would it be? So if you're the general, your right-hand man would be, what, like a colonel or something like that? I'm, I'm not really sure on the military ranks and stuff. I guess it also depends on what branch of the military and what army and yada yada. But anyway... Yeah, it'd be really cool if uh, uh, some of the other characters, you know, kind of got boosts as well. Alright, so he's above average. Matoda. Matoda? What about the name of a... Uh... Oh no, Matoya is the, the wizard in uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Let's just go ahead and... 
love the fact that they have Sonic Boom. Even though the move is stupid and it hurts you, you know, pert near as much as it hurts the enemy. Oh, uh, maybe not quite as much. I think you take half. Mm-hmm. All right. Pumping those scrolls into Matoda. Man, how crazy was Matoda? It feels like this is taking longer. Oh, there we go. Switched over to neutrality. So that's got to count for something. Shouldn't be too much longer here. Well, we haven't also, or we haven't, uh, uh, checked out, you know, what kind of, uh, uh, classes have been available either. That's probably worth looking into. As we near the uh, kind of the finale of the game here, might not be a terrible idea to make sure that we've, you know, got the best classes available. Hmm. Though we're also destroying everything so it kind of doesn't matter. You know, there's this part of me that thinks that like, oh man, you know, I, I bet by the end, you know, we'll we'll be a little underleveled or something, and you know the the final boss will be tough, and I'll have to you know like cheat or something to to pull it off. But I don't know the enemies in every fight we've been dealing with so far have mostly been pushovers, you know, because I'm level fifty and above. Okay, so he's above average. Bernard! What a far cry in the names. Matoda and Bernard. Both the same character sprite? Is that right? Oh yeah, both the same character sprite. Weird. I mean, I guess it's all random and stuff. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but uh... I don't know, it still seems a little weird. It's like when we uh, ran into like ninjas named like Frank and stuff. It's like... I, I mean, I get it. Like, anybody can be a ninja, sure. Even dudes named Frank. Maybe especially dudes named Frank. I, who am I to judge? But, uh... I don't know. There's just something kind of weird about it. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, see here. 27 of these left. Not too shabby. Hopefully we'll finish uh, getting Bernard to that, uh, uh, you know, above above neutral kind of position. That uh, uh, lawful, but not all the way lawful position. I just wish there was an easier way to gauge, uh, you know, the, the cities that you can liberate compared to the cities you can capture. It would make things so much easier to kind of guesstimate, but I guess it kind of takes away a bit of the, the fun there. You know, if you if you could calculate everything down to every tiny number, you know, at that point you can kind of finagle the system. But when you don't know it entirely, or, you know, you're like me and you, you know, maybe could have learned and you didn't bother, uh, you know, it, uh, I think it adds uh, a bit to the game. All right, Bernard. Come on, man. I need I need you to start tipping that scale. You need to be a good night, good guy now, Bernard. There we go. Okay, only a few left. Hannah and Sandy. These last few into her. Yeah, just seven, so just a few more. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Sandy was another one that we uh, had to drop her alignment on to, you know, get her to change class. Weird that there wasn't a uh, female female magic using class that was, you know, more on the lawful side. You only could be like priests and stuff. Kind of lame, but whatever. All right. So, item commands. We're gonna remove that power fruit. Give me that power fruit back, old man. And then, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, nope, not remove. 
That would be really bad. Add a soldier to Saradin. Uh, carry item. Old man Saradin. Scroll of Discipline, bottom slot. Remove that soldier. Bye bye, soldier. Uh, let's see. Sell item. Huh? That doesn't seem right, does it? That doesn't seem right in the least. I messed something up. Ha <laughs> ha! I sure did. Power fruit. That's the problem. Now let's go ahead and go to item command. Sell item. All the way to the bottom. So two. Boom. Exit. Go back in. Man, it scared me for a second there. I had no idea what I did wrong. Use the item, and now this time we probably only have 55, right? Yeah, only 55. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and get them raised up, and then, uh, I think that'll be about it. Ah, uh, we were also thinking about doing a more neutral unit. Hmm. 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 Ah. Uh, you know, probably not a terrible idea going into the finale here because, you know, it just doesn't hurt to make sure we're liberating in as many cities as possible at this point because I need the good ending. I'll never play through this game all the way through again. Well, that might not be the case. I wouldn't mind going through and getting a little bit more nerdy with it and, uh, uh, you know, unlocking all the classes or something or making like a super evil army that would be really cool i also didn't get a chance to play with a lot of the monster races and stuff wouldn't mind having that at my disposal more dragons and uh uh you know we saw the the lich earlier in the the game maybe you know a few missions ago that we fought would be pretty cool if we could get a lich on our side like right you know undead mage Eternally seeking magic power. Man, that's cool. Liches are awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get Sandy taken care of here, and then we'll uh, go ahead and pause there. Alright, well, there goes Sandy's alignment. She's now above average, which is uh, kind of nice. Make sure it's matching up with everyone we have here. Let's see. Yeah, 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 everything's matching up. I definitely appreciate you uh, guys uh, going along with this uh, crazy ride through uh, Ogre Battle 64, Person of Lordly Caliber. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, I, you know, we'll go ahead and keep on cheating for just a bit longer here, and then uh, after that, we'll uh, kind of coast our way through the ending of this game. Uh, now, I, uh, you know. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, of course, make sure to drop a like, make sure you're subscribed, make sure to leave me a comment, but uh, otherwise, uh, check out GameZillaMedia.com, where all my other projects uh, are going on. Uh, Legend of Retro, which is a podcast for old video games, Noobs and Dragons, which is a uh, you know, podcast where I run a D&D uh, &D campaign for uh, uh, you know, the GameZilla Media crew. Uh, but uh, yeah, aside from all that, I uh, definitely appreciate you uh, watching, and we'll uh, catch you the next time.